I'm Jeremy Buben, and I am the curator of The Hideout. The Hideout is Seattle's best art bar. It is a dive bar with 100 pieces of art on the walls and great cocktails. Of the 101 paintings on the wall, 84 of them are available for sale. The rest are part of our permanent collection. And anybody who comes in can become a collector. The Hideout has a wide array of patrons, from hospital workers to First Hill residents to artists. So we create an atmosphere that is surrounded by creativity. We have interesting paintings on the walls that spark conversation and remind people that we're living in a town with great art. Many of the artists on the walls are what I would consider established Seattle artists. They've had shows at galleries, but I'm also always on the hunt for new emerging artists that maybe haven't had a show yet, but I get wind of their work or see it on Instagram and uh, nothing's more fun than putting something up for the first time for an artist. One thing that is fascinating to think about is how many hours and how much of people's lives are poured into these paintings on the walls. For some people, it's a lifetime to get to the image you're seeing. Other people, they're just discovering paint and just starting to express themselves. But every painting has a personal story to tell. I was so happy to get the large Tondo painting from Sullivan Giles. It's the hands with the tattoos. And it is just exquisite and massive. Another piece that I really like is Blake Blanco's The Fallen One. It's this red devil angel, and he kind of looms right behind the patrons, casting his glance down at them. And also, I was really happy to get one of Laura Hamjay's viaduct paintings. I have cataloged all the art on the walls, and we put out a magazine roughly quarterly. Everything's pictured. You can find what you're looking for really easily. The Vital Five is a long-standing tradition here at The Hideout. It is a magazine compiled with drawings by patrons. So we put that out a couple times a year, and it's some of our favorite drawings that were created right here. The Hideout is definitely a cocktail bar. Probably the most popular drink on the menu is the Andy Warhol, and that is a cosmopolitan and a Polaroid picture of yourself. My advice for anybody that wants to buy art that hasn't had experience with it is just follow your heart, buy what you like. The hardest thing with art is the ones that got away. So if you really love something, figure out how to buy it and then make it part of your life. The Hideout is open every day of the week from 4 p.m. to 2 a.m. and 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. on weekends. It might look like a speakeasy, but just open the door and come on in. The Hideout is open seven days a week. Hours and location are at hideoutseattle.com. Catch Art Zone Friday nights at 8 and anytime online at seattlechannel.org slash artzone.